Hi guys, it's Morka and welcome back to my channel. Well today guys, I'm trying to pull out my holiday decor. So I'm kind of doing this a little vlog style, you know guys, I don't vlog that often. So I just want to show you some of my decor and how messy my place is. You always think I don't have a messy place? Yes, I do. Speak. Anybody has a messy place when they pull out any type of holiday decor, especially with me and my small space living. So I went to um, find some decor. I went to I went to Ross, I found some pieces at um, Hobby Lobby, and did I get anything at Home Goods? I did get something at Home Goods, but I did take it back. Um, <laughs> figures. But um, I just want to show you my different stations I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do my table here, which is my fireplace. Okay, of course I have to do the kitchen. Um, then I'm going to turn around and do, of course, the table, the Bartini um, tower, I have this table to do, which is sort of like um, a console type table, my entertainment center, of course, my uh, bar card here. Okay, my Christmas tree is going to be the last thing I do. Um, and of course, my tablescape. So I'm going to have a, probably about eight stations of decorating I will be doing for this holiday season. So I'm, going to, so I'm going to try to put out all these videos for you guys. But I want to show you right now... Um, the stuff that I got from the stores, I found this sharp, beautiful, and I know you guys already have it. I'm always, I'm the last one to get stuff, guys. You know me, because I'm just a goodwill girl. So when I went to Home Goods, I went to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Ross. I do not understand how you guys spend this much money. I must have went through two hundred dollars in less than like a couple hours, and I'm like, when I'm at Goodwill, I spend about twenty five dollars a week. I can't do it, but I did need some home decor. And I need some Christmas decor for my holiday because I'm changing my theme. You know, guys, I'm going with the whole, um, let me show you here, the dark red. Not the red that I have, but the darker red. So this is going to be my theme, really like the dark berry type of red. Um, I didn't really want a flock tree, but the tree that I got, and this is from um, Goodwill. But the other tree I got from Goodwill was so big, it would be in the center of the living room and the dining room, which will probably be like a centerpiece. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put on a patio. So that is going to be another station to how I'm going to decorate my patio. So, um, of course, my small little area in front of the, um, uh, my little area here, I'm going to decorate to where my Ikea shelf is, which is my shoe rack. And my mirror, I'm going to decorate that too. So I'm going to have a lot of little different areas I'm going to decorate. So the last is going to probably be the tree and the coffee station. Let me show you now uh, what pieces I bought from these various stores. Okay, so I have everything, just scattered everything. So yes, my place is a mess. I got wreaths on the floor. This is the burgundy color I keep telling you guys I'm going with. Not like the bright red I'm wearing. So here... So I got these gold leaves. These are like, like a champagne gold, not like a yellow gold. And I'm going to use these for the bar car. And also, this is almost like a copper gold. I'm loving this. These were $4.99 and everything at Hobby Lobby was 50% off. And I got these as well. And this is also for the bar cart. Um, these were $3.99. So these was $2 each. So this section here is going for the bar cart. I did get a ribbon. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use a ribbon for. Again, this was $5.99 half price, so this was like $3. I got some stems here. Again, so I think these were end up being like $1.50 each. I really wanted to do with this theme here. Sort of that white on me, that log cabin with the pine cones and a little bit of snow on the, you know, the flocking of the um, greenery. Um, I got these pieces these were gorgeous. These were $11.99, so half price. These were $6.50. These were gorgeous. And you know what? I'm so upset. I got two. So I have two wreaths, right? Two garlands right here. I got from Walmart. So I got one for each. I took two. And I said, I'll come back, you know, for, for the other two. Guys, I was going one hour. One hour I came back there gone i was so mad so i end up going to walmart and getting something like this which doesn't compare you know to these but i had to get something that sort of had berries and you know some type of snowy but if i go back i'm really going to try to find these this was to me worth the price of six dollars and fifty cents 
I found some candles. I got three of these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And these I'll probably end up putting again on the um, console table. And I got this here. And this also from Hobby Lobby's. I think these were $3.99. I took the tag off of them. And this one, of course, is going to go on a bar cart. And then one's going to go by the door. These are beautiful. Okay, I did get some balls from... I think these were... Oh, these were Hobby Lobby as well. I thought these were gorgeous and sunny. It's a shame I didn't have... They didn't have any in gold, though. I didn't see anything in gold. But my favorite thing is this. And I know you guys... I know somebody has this. This was from Ross. And this was $26.99. So I got the Christmas tree. And this is definitely going on the cart. Absolutely beautiful. And when it lit up, oh my God, I fell in love. So, okay, so this material here is going to go under the tree. Table I have over here. So I had to put this on the table because this tree was so small. And I wanted a tree, so I had to put it on the table. So I'm going to cover it with this. Add some boxes around, like over here, just to give the illusion that it's not just a small tree. And just decorate it the best I can. Because this tree, again, I got from Goodwill. This flock tree, um, it was new at the box. You could tell it was from, and I did a haul on this. It was originally from Walmart. Okay, so here is the garland I got from Walmart. And I looked at this one another um, person's channel. I think I saw her channel. I forgot who the YouTuber is. And these were $12.98. So I did get two. Um, I thought this was really nice. And I like how there was another YouTuber. She had the regular greenery with this together. But since I don't have the regular, I'm not. I'm just going to keep it sort of just like this. I really like the fact they had the other greenery behind it. And she intertwined the both of them. But... I'm going to leave it like this. The Christmas balls I got, they were $5.99. When I got these from Goodwill back in July, they were 75% off. And I thought these different, gorgeous. So they came in a bag and it also has a gold one. Now, I was going to do shiny, shiny glam, but I just hate not to use these. Even if I put it on a tree on the patio. Um, so I might save it for that, but I definitely want to use it. And it did, it, it sort of came in with the three of the red. So it's still not the super bright red. Um, so I think it still will come out nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put stuff on the floor that's going to be for this station. The light is going to be for the garland. These are some old decors that I had before. These here I got from Burlington before I moved to Vegas. So they're about 15 to 20 years old those are gorgeous and i use them every year and of course the these actually were goodwill i got these from goodwill and they light up um so that's going to be a theme over here again it's taking me from that winter look to kind of sparkly so i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to make this work but I want everything to be stationed here again this angel is goodwill and i'm gonna put this on the top of the shelf so over here, I'm going to have some things here, guys. I did end up spraying this gold on one side to see if I like the gold or the silver. I didn't like the way the gold came out. I think what we need to do, and I put it in an old video, when you paint silver or it was like a gold color and it looked like this, it just didn't look bright enough. I think you should paint white first, then spray it. So I think what I'm going to do is paint both pieces white. And then spray it gold to see if it pops out. Because this pops out, this kind of just got, it's sort of that's lost. It's pretty, but it's lost. And I think because it doesn't have a design to it. It's so plain for such a beautiful piece. Okay, so the candle's going to be here. My apothecary jars is going to be here. So this is going to be decorated. I'm going to throw everything in this space over here. The table has stuff on there as well. And like I said, this is how I'm going to separate some things. The bar cart. What I'm going to do with the bar cart um, is I'm going to remove these mirror, this mirror here. I have those star, star lights, so I'm going to glue the star lights underneath so they can light up and then sort of velcro the battery pack behind it because my other bar cart lit up. I like things with light on it, so I think I'm going to light the bottom up 
I, it, and maybe even the top one just to have a glow. So I think I'm just going to take this out, turn it upside down, and hot glue each little section. Put a dot of glue. Okay, because of course with the hot glue is not permanent. And then when I'm done with it, I can just take it off. So that's going to be for that area here. So guys, I just wanted to show you briefly what I have. And I'm going to start on the bar cart first. After the bar cart, I'm going to do this section here. Once I do the fireplace, I'm going to do, don't get dizzy, I'm going to do the console table here. Um, of course, the martini table. I'm going to throw some stuff up here, maybe add some little pops of color. I just threw a couple bells in here just to see the pop of color. So I'm not quite sure here. I really, really wanted the reindeer. I want the acrylic reindeer, guys. I can't find them nowhere. It's probably way too late. Uh, I'll figure something out. Uh, maybe put a wreath up on the mirror here. Um, I'll think about that. This is small. Let me turn this light on. So guys, yes, you know my place is small. You know, I am a renter. So this is an apartment, guys. I don't know if I ever told you this is an apartment. But this is a big apartment. So sometimes you guys say, well, can you do this? Can you change your blinds? Can you change your light? No. And the reason why I have this is because, no, I cannot. There are certain things you are limited that you cannot do. Okay. Um, again, I like small space living. I'm not doing the house thing. No time soon. Been there. Done that. Too much to do. It's too much to do for this small space. But this is why I, I draped this so you can have the cord here and I'm going to add it to um, the other lights in my studio as well since my subscriber said that it was driving her nuts and it drives me nuts too the to seat cord so that is what I am doing um so again I'm going to start with the bar card first because I have everything for the bar card I'm going to show you how I'm going to take the glass the mirrors apart the mirror shelf turn it upside down glue it Light it up, put it back, and we are going to style this bar card. All right, guys, let me get started, okay? And I will see you in the other future videos. And don't forget to watch my other videos or even my old Christmas videos. Some of you guys is going back to my Christmas videos from a couple years ago, and I really appreciate that. Oh, yeah, and then also the patio. Y'all can see the patio behind me. I just took down some of the fall decor. So I am going to put the other tree here. Let me show you this real quick. So what I did that was really, really gorgeous on my patio, what I did, I had a light, the net light goes from here all the way down. Um, I'm going to do the Christmas tree. I, I did this before with another thing. I actually had like uh, tree branches I got and I sprayed the gold and put lights on it. That was absolutely gorgeous. But I'm going to do the tree, the big tree that's going to go all the way up and down. Don't put the back on it and just have it against the wall. So this is going to be no branches. This is going to be branches coming out. And from there, we're going to just decorate the front of it. Oh, yeah, I still got some more fall decor on here. This is a small patio, but this is very comfortable setting here. And for small space living. So I already got, you know, my um, stuff out here already. I already have this out here some of my netting is already here so like again i separated everything and piled so i'll know what goes where and what i am missing and of course i have to move the table everything out of the way so okay guys so i am going to get started with this project okay and my place is a mess i do not like christmas stuff when it's a mess and this flocky if, if i i hear this complaint all the time Flocking is gorgeous, but look at the mess. It's like you got to vacuum this up. And then once you get all decorated, it's stuck everywhere. It drives me crazy. All right, guys, let me get started on this project. Okay, guys, so I'm going to cut this into two videos, a part one, part two, because I don't want this video to be long. I want the bar car sound to sit by itself. I just wanted to show you everything real quick, but I actually do want the bar cart to have its own video, everything to have its own video. All right, guys, so I am going to wrap this up, and I uh, thank you for listening to my vlog. All right, guys, and looking at my messy abode. <laughs> All right, guys, it's a more girl. Not, this is so pretty here, but I'm not quite sure what to do with the tablescape yet. It's so nice with the light, and again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as the Z Gallery stuff. I'll think of it later, you know. I'm not going to worry about it right now. All right, guys, it's more girl, and I'll see you at the next video.
All right, guys. Say hi, Sarah. Sarah, say hi. Yeah, Sarah doesn't care. All right, guys. It's your war girl.